This is the unboxing of the Sherpa 100 AC power bank from Goal Zero. I purchased this from uh, BH Photo Video online. It was on special during uh, the holiday season. I've been actually looking forward to opening this and uh, using it. So, um, Here it goes, here's the battery, so there's a fan here, uh, the wireless charger, and we'll go cover the cable in a little bit, but uh, here's the 100 watt AC, just like all other Goal Zero, they have the button to enable it. Uh, the 2.4, 2 USB 2.4, the digital display here, uh, the fast charging. If you have uh, the larger batteries like uh, this one, it comes with a, it comes with a faster charger. You could use that one to charge this a little bit faster. You could do USB C as well, uh, and uh, the USB uh, C here uh, is in and out. So uh, uh, it is uh, in and out right there. So um, this one is the wireless charge. This basically turns the battery on. I highly suspicious if there is any power in it, probably not, it needs to be charged. And uh, let's see the cables. So this one, is USB-C to USB-C right there and this one is is uh, micro um, USB to USB there are additional cables I believe with it that comes with it as well so um, this one is uh, these two kind of see here they are rubberized so it sits nice when you put it on the table. And let's see how much it weighs. Two pounds. So um, this one I believe is the largest uh, uh, battery that's qualified. Uh, to fly with which is nice so it's decent size obviously um, so let's take a look at what else is in the box So there is a USB to USB uh, C here. This one, we could use this one to uh, charge the battery. So let's try do that so that we get the display to come on. there
So it shows uh, zero percent now. As I suspected, uh, it's totally empty from the charge. Here we go, it's one percent now. So then the second cable is the USB-C to lightning cable for uh, iPhone or iPad, depending on which version you have. The newest iPad have USB-C. So all in all, it has one cable for um, iPhone, iPad, uh, it has uh, one cable USB to USB-C. It has uh, one cable USB-C to USB-C. And then it has one cable USB to uh, micro USB. USB, micro USB, USB-C, USB-C, USB to USB-C, and then USB to lightning. Quick start guide. So basically here, it tells you about uh, the different option uh, for uh, charging. So um, the USB to USB-C is three to seven hour. And the eight millimeter, which is uh, this charger that comes with the bigger battery is three hours. And then USB to USB-C 2.4 is nine hours. So if it is USB-C to USB-C, it is 60 watt. So if you have an, uh, uh, basically if you have a MacBook Pro charger, 60 watt MacBook Pro charger or any other USB-C charger, it's three to seven hours. And if you have the 2.0, Amperage USB uh, to USB C is nine hours, which is basically this one was what I'm doing here. This is going to take nine hours to charge from empty to full. And then obviously, you could use uh, their uh, different uh, um, uh, solar panels to do the charging as well, but obviously, it takes a lot more time here to do that. Um, We already walked through the menu. It talks here about uh, how you uh, change the menu and the display. So this is the user guide. What's in the box. And then uh, the things you could uh, use the battery with. Phones, tablets, laptops, cameras, lights, and uh, the solar chargers, and then the menu itself. And obviously it gives you details on uh, how to change the menu. What's nice about it is that uh, uh, each, uh, each uh, output it, uh, let's see if I could uh, help uh, zoom here, clear the focus, here we go. So uh, each uh, output, it gives you the in or out. So here on the AC one, it says uh, uh, 90, and then on the USB uh, two, it says 10, which is pretty nice because then you uh, know how much power you're pulling out and uh, what are you uh, putting back in. Uh, what's nice about this battery is uh, obviously pass-through. So uh, while you're charging it, you could consume power out of it. So as it's sitting there and charging, you could put your uh, phone here and charge it or any other or your AirPod, for example, and uh, it is a pass-through. So uh, that's a nice feature about it, which I like a lot. I have used uh, other batteries similar to this from other brands. Um, 
I will do a comparison later on between the two batteries. There we go. So it says time to fall nine hours. Uh, obviously, like I said, uh, we're using uh, 2.4 uh, USB A to USB C. So this is going to be slow. Uh, so 2% so far. And uh, this one right here. Uh, it switches through the menu, so obviously uh, I'm not taking power from uh, uh, any of them. You see the outs are zero, uh, but the in, uh, it's hard kind of to keep it focused here. Let's see, there we go. Sorry about that, here we go, that's better. So you see the in is taking the power in, but the outs are all uh, zeroed. So this is the Omni uh, 20 charger battery bank, uh, Omni 20, Omni charge. So I purchased this about uh, two years ago. Um, they were still, I think, about a new company that came about. This one is a, a 20,400 uh, milliampere. Uh, it's uh, uh, friendly for flying and uh, basically this one is uh, um, two USBs here um, and um, they are uh, the IQ USBs uh, it measures uh, how much power your device needs and adjusts accordingly for maximum charge capability so the menu here calls out uh, which port is open. Like so, for example, uh, I could enable the USB port and uh, uh, the uh, AC port here. You could decide here which one to turn on and off. Um, and then it tells you um, the different uh, options around the menu here. The temperature of the battery uh, 78 for Fahrenheit right now. How much power is getting in? How much power is getting out? Obviously, zero power is getting out. And uh, uh, how long to fall? It's 53 more minutes to fully get charged. So, like I said, I have had this battery for two years, um, and it worked really well for me. But I think recently has been uh, not keeping a full charge, um, and. Um, this is why I looked at uh, other alternatives and because uh, I have invested before with other Goal Zero batteries, I decided to um, invest in the Sherpa 100 AC. So I thought it will be a natural review between the two, uh, just to show you the difference between the two batteries because I feel they do compete with each other. Although uh, Omni, uh, Omni charge doesn't have the brand recognition of uh, Goal Zero, uh, but uh, it is a solid product from my experience with it for the last two years I've used it, uh, except that recently, like I said, it's been dropping in the charge. So the similarity between the two, uh, these two batteries is that both of them have uh, a digital display and both of them uh, are pass-through. So basically you could plug them to charge the battery itself while you're charging other devices out of the battery which is, I think it's a huge value. Um, so, uh, and then both of them uh, do charge uh, AC uh, uh, as well. So you could uh, direct connect AC power uh, through your devices so if you have a drone or uh, uh, a laptop. And I've charged my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro uh, through this uh, numerous, numerous times. This one has a fan, uh, this one has a fan as well. They both do have a cooling fan, and uh, I do know on this one it comes on a few times, especially when I'm in the car uh, and it gets hot during summertime. The fan mostly comes on a lot, and obviously it consumes more power. And this one has two USBs only with AC. Uh, this one being a newer model, it came after the Omni charge. It has the AC, two USBs, and uh, wireless charging plus two USB-Cs 
those USB-C's are in and out power, so you could charge through them and you could consume power through them as well. What's nice about this is that in addition to having wireless charge, obviously it's newer, is that it comes with the cables. So uh, um, it has uh, USB to micro USB, it has USB-C to USB-C, it has uh, USB to USB-C, and it has also, it came with uh, USB to uh, lightning for uh, um, iPad, iPhone, uh, for Apple products. So um, let's see uh, the weight of each one so that uh, you figure out what uh, the difference in weight is between the two. So starting with the Sherpa 100, it is uh, about two pounds. And uh, the Omni charge um, is uh, 1.5. Uh, obviously, this one comes with uh, additional cables latched into it, so uh, I'm assuming uh, this is going to affect it by a tiny bit, but this one is a heavier battery uh, than the Omni uh, 20. Uh, they do have newer versions of this battery uh, on their website. Uh, you could buy them directly, uh, and I believe they're available on Amazon as well. Uh, they do have uh, other versions out of this battery as well. Um, they now also support uh, uh, larger battery packs as well uh, and replaceable battery packs as well. So they've came along and uh, I was always impressed with them. When I purchased this one, I purchased it through uh, a campaign uh, that they were launching uh, when they started manufacturing these. So I was one of the early adapters and uh, I presume that their newer products are even uh, better than this. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super pleased with this battery, but again, uh, it doesn't hold charge anymore, so I could basically charge maybe uh, one iPhone, uh, um, one of the newer iPhone, and uh, maybe 20% or 30% is left out. Uh, and uh, uh, this one is the newer one I'm excited to use uh, because of the wireless charging specifically. And uh, this is the largest size that you could fly with um, as far as Goal Zero batteries goes. So uh, hope this was helpful. Um, please uh, like or uh, and or subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. Thank you.